Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Thanks for joining us. Can we still say Happy New Year? Happy New Year to you, too. <laughs> um, contenders, break number nine, pick your team nine, coming at you right now. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into the action. There you go. Arthur with that last spot mojo. Thank you, sir. And there's everyone else. Appreciate everyone getting in, joining in. A lot of football action happening today. Big day for me and my Raiders. John Gruden officially announced as the head coach. Uh, John Gruden, so, so kind of, he's kind of, he's a personality. He's, he's funny. He's honest. And, uh, you know, I think I think that's great for for football to have that kind of personality as a, as a head coach. So, all right. So here are all twelve boxes. There's three right here, three right here, three here, three here. All right, good luck everybody. Five autographs, some parallels. All right, so Wild card weekend over the divisional rounds to begin this weekend. Uh, most most of you were here with me on Saturday when we watched uh, the games together. We saw the the Titans come back uh, from a big deficit and beat the Chiefs twenty two to twenty one. And then the Falcons beating the Rams 26-13, kind of stifling that Rams offense. Then on Sunday, the next day, the Jaguars beating the Bills in a very ugly 10-3 game where I think Blake Bortles had more rushing yards than passing yards. Did I, did I see that correctly? More rushing yards than passing yards. Blake Bortles, of all people. Uh, and then, of course, uh, I think what everyone predicted to be the best game of the weekend, uh, Saints-Panthers, definitely turned out to be a good one. 31-26 Saints, but uh, Cam Newton with uh, attempting a furious comeback late in the game, but just just wasn't quite enough. Uh, Sam Golden, what's going on? Oh, he might, Sam might be lagging behind. Sam... When you catch up to this part of the stream, um, make sure you double check to make sure you're not lagging behind. I think I asked for the roll call about five minutes after you responded, so you might be lagging behind. So you'll catch up. It's a long break. All right, so what were what were everyone's thoughts on the weekend game? Weekend games. Right, let's get myself sorted out here. Ah, oh, redemption. Any guesses on that redemption? So we'll breeze through these. And there's rookie ticket auto, our first autograph of the day. It contenders. Goes to the Lions. Alex Carmichael with the Lions. Got a playoff ticket relic, or not a relic, a uh, insert out of 249, 164 out of 249, Eddie Lacy. Five eleven, two thirty four. He's not two thirty four. <laughs> Let's see what uh, see what John Gruden can do with Derek Carr. He does love quarterbacks. 
The John Gruden press conference I thought was really nice. Out of 199 Rookie of the Year contenders, Carlos Henderson, Oppo Joe Mojo. That Oppo Joe Mojo is for Aaron Murray and the Broncos. Sean McCoy, a little bit hobbled throughout the game. Uh, the Bills could have used a Jim Kelly at quarterback. And there's Joe Mixon. Nice Joe Mixon, Rookie of the Year contenders auto. 13 out of 99. That goes to the Bengals, Brian Berry, and the Bengals. Love the alliteration. Brian Berry and the Bengals. Nice. For the Joe Mixon. We got round numbers. Oh yeah, are we doing are we moving down the line on, on Mac? I think we might have to. Actually, I don't think it's been over yet. We usually, we usually have a Mac count, folks. For the few last few breaks, I've set the over-under at three and a half on Mac autographs. Marlon Mac, Mac Hollins, Mac Brown, et cetera, et cetera. But it's been, it's been the under three and a half the last few case breaks. So we're setting the over under at three. All right. Next up is a Jaguar. Playoff ticket, Keelan Cole, 93 out of 99. So this over-under set at three. TJ says over. He, he sets the line at three, and I think that's a good call. We, just, we, have, to, we have to adjust. MH, Michael House is over as well. You know, I'm going to take the over again. I say over three, although that Keenan doesn't help. Uh, that goes to Sam Golden and the Jaguars. And Joe Williams, Rookie of the Year contenders out of 199. Nice one for the Niners. That goes to James S. All right, let's see what the redemption is. The redemption is... I, I saw James Conner guesses, TJ Watt guesses. And it's a Dory Jackson. Who guessed? Someone guessed a Dory Jackson. William Hubble guessed a Dory Jackson. Oh, because he had the Titans. There you go. You called it. Titans moving on in the playoffs. All right, so nice box. Uh, no, I'll be okay. All right. Next up is this box right here. Good luck, everybody. Uh, looks like just a regular regular rookie ticket autograph. Just a regular rookie ticket autograph. So
So where do the uh, so before we talk about the Titans, where do the Chiefs go from here, ladies and gentlemen? Now that we have had a a few days to digest the the games, where do the where where do the Chiefs go from here? I don't think that well is it, is it coordinators? Do they got to change coordinators? Head coach maybe? Are they gonna let Alex Smith go? Is the Alex Smith era over? Is the oh their OC is gone already, huh? Is it the yeah? Is it the Mahomes era? Because they've got the pieces, they've got individuals, but there's just it's just something to do with the playoffs. It, they, they just uh, they just can't quite doesn't doesn't quite click. It, it reminds me a lot of like those those Marty Schottenheimer teams, right? That they would just crush in the regular season, you know, but they just wouldn't be able to put it together in the postseason. And I think everyone has heard the stat. I think the Chiefs have not won a a home playoff game in like ages. So we'll see where the uh, where the Chiefs go from here. All right. Now let's see where we're gonna go from here. Our first autograph is Jordan Leggett out of this box. Rookie ticket autograph. Horizontal version. That goes to Adam Kupperman and the Jets, Jets, Jets. These round number cards right here, just these regular ones, will randomize them between the left and right teams. Yeah, TJ saying they have not won a home playoff game since 1995. You would think they would have at some point. There's Matt Ryan go, going up against another bird team, Bossman's Eagles. Big game Saturday. How do you feel about that game, boss man? I'm so comfortable. You are so comfortable. Yeah. Is that your lock of the week? Um, lock of the week. <laughs> he says lock. There's only two games. Bossman says lock lock of the week. I, I Patriots are suspect. Ooh, Patriots suspect. Cooper Cup, nice. Championship ticket autograph, Cooper Cup. 36 out of 49. On card autograph for the Rams. Derek Slavic with the Rams. Cooper Cup with a touchdown in the playoffs. And uh, Rams with a great, uh, with a fantastic season, but ending, ending a little disappointingly. There's Zay Jones to 199. Rookie of the Year yeah. contenders. That, that's why I like to keep them. Yeah, we had some back orders that finally got in. Uh -huh. Yeah, the team is the the yeah. boss man. Yeah. The rest of the team are back from the vacay. So they're, they're back in action. So shipping back on track now. Uh, Kendrick Bourne identity going to the Niners. James S. with the Niners. And uh, there's Alex Smith. What's going to happen with Alex Smith? Son Alex Smith. Let's see what else we got here. We've got another Keelan Cole championship ticket autograph. 37 out of 49 for the Jags. Sam Golden with that one. TJ, how you doing? I'm at the beach. What do you mean? Yeah, that's technically true. It boss man, true. boss man went to the beach on vacation the, yeah. and came back to a beach. <laughs> doesn't make sense, does it, Joe? It yeah, was getting too cold in LA. It was getting a little chilly. Yeah, it was getting that for cold. LA. Yeah, for the Buccaneers, Bernard Reedy, rookie ticket autograph for the Buccaneers. Ryan Barry with the Bucks. Appreciate that, TJ. Had a good time. Eric Bieniemy. Oh, I haven't heard that name. All right, that's box number two. Moving right along. Yeah, we didn't see a plate in the last case either, right? The first handful of cases, I feel like there was like a plate per case, but then we then we, there were no plates for a couple cases. Let's see if we find a plate in this one.
The other losers, of course, the Chiefs. What are, I mean, what are they going to do? We're going to find out. They got the pieces, though. The Rams were the other losing team. Their offense, their special teams, actually, really, that was the one facet of the game that sort of let them down. Farrell Cooper, who's a pro bowler, I think. Just didn't, didn't, didn't quite get there. So we'll see what how the Rams retool. I mean, I think they they should be fine next year. I think another good draft, some free agency, some more experience from the young players under their belt. Cooper Cup had a great season. Todd Gurley is back. So if they can stay healthy and continue that that trend, they'll be they'll be a force to be reckoned with next season. Although I think their strength of schedule, I think they might be a little bit more difficult next year. Look, they had a slightly easier uh, kind of uh, year this year. Uh, Michael Durask has the Bears in this one. Michael D. The other loser on Sunday, the Bills. The Bills are going to make big changes, right? Quarterback, I, th I, I think Tyrod Taylor is, is done in Buffalo, if not already. So I think uh, I think that's it for Tyrod Taylor. I don't that Nathan Peterman is certainly not the answer. Do they go for a quarterback by a trade, free agency? If Alex Smith isn't around, what happens there? Do the Bills try an Alex Smith? They could use an Alex Smith. Could they use I don't know, could they use a what happens to Sam Bradford? What happens to Teddy Bridgewater? What happens to Nick Foles? What happens to a lot of players? A lot of players that are out there. All right. A lot of potential quarterbacks being available, and a lot of teams that need quarterbacks. Wow, that's a Leonard Fournette autograph. Ooh. Rookie ticket auto. I think this might be our first one out of nine cases. Wow. Or have we seen? Maybe we've seen a redemption. I don't, I don't remember. I don't remember a lot of Leonard Fournette autographs, ladies and gentlemen. This is pretty strong. <coughs> that goes to the Jaguars. Sam Golden with the Jaguars. Leonard Fournette still in the playoffs, so his his legend, his value can still grow. Imagine if he beats the uh, Steelers. 129 out of 249 to Marco Murray. Titans are still alive. Oh, in the last case? But we can't have seen... I don't think we've seen more than like three though, right? There's legendary contenders. Uh, Chris Dolman, 48 out of 199. That goes to the Vikings. That'll be for Rich. There's a Deshaun Hall, rookie ticket autograph for the Panthers. That one will be for Jason McGee. And we've got Matthew Days. That's for Cole. Cole with the Cleveland Browns. Rookie ticket autograph. Steel Curtain, what's going on? Michael Gallucci in the house. And we've got NFL Inc. Gerald McCoy. Out of 199, that goes to Brian Barry and the Bucks. Nice NFL ink. And we've got Josh Jones, 87 out of 99. Playoff ticket autograph. Playoffs? Playoffs? Tom Ewald with the Green Bay Packers. 
There you go, Tom. Nice. All right, nice box. Our back count still at zero. Next box. No, we've seen Cole before. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's only your fourth? I thought, I thought you had more. <laughs> All right, next box. Nice, Michael Gluch saying you got your TJ Watt variation cracked ice today, excellent. No worries, Michael. Thanks for joining that break. Yeah, now that we're, uh, now that the team's at full strength, folks, um, all the shipping should be, uh, should be back on track. I don't think it was, I don't think it was really delayed that much. Some of the longer breaks might have been delayed just an extra couple days. Then there was the holiday, then it was January 1st, and the weekend and whatnot. But now that the team is back in action, we got a whole boatload of shipments uh, that were labeled and went out today. Um, I think uh, we're pretty much caught up. Now these longer breaks all, all, always take a little additional time, obviously, naturally. So, but I think we're back on track, ladies and gentlemen. Most of you may not even noticed, to be honest with you. But for those of you who did, thanks for your patience. Uh, Seal Curtain saying the auto was pretty sweet on one of the better autos you've seen it too. I like that. Uh, I like that that his auto and and JJ was his brother's auto looks pretty similar. I, I, I just kind of wish that uh, that Derek Watt goes by DJ, but he doesn't. All right, next box. Good luck, everybody. Demarius Thomas is your championship ticket insert, six out of ninety nine. Uh, I did not know, but I'm sure it's on its way. Deonta Foreman, autograph, nice. Nice on-card auto for the Texans, Chris Masoner with that one. He's looking for a Deshaun Watson. He's, you have another team, don't, don't you, Chris? Or is that the one you were looking for? Oh, he has a Chiefs, too. And we've got, nice, veteran ticket autograph, Kirk Cousins. Cruz. There you go, Cruz. With you like that. You like that? You like that? Kirk Cousins may be liking that somewhere else next year, by the start of next year. So by week one of the NFL season, where does Kirk Cousins start? What are your predictions, folks? There's Jacob Hollister. That goes to the Patriots. That'll be for Karen Steele. No relation to Jacob Abercrombie and Fitch. <laughs> we, we do that. We're loaded on those. Yeah, whoever got the, uh, the kid reporter spot is crushing it right now, that is. All 
All right, rookie ticket autograph, Raekwon McMillan. That goes to the Dolphins. That'll be for Joe Cavanaugh. William Hubble predicting that you like that ends up with Denver Broncos, but he wants him in Jacksonville. points. I hate how they'll sneak up on me. Uh, we'll randomize those points to one person in the break and it'll be winner take all if there's multiple points. All right, next box. But William, why why do you why do you need uh why would you need Kirk Cousins in Jacksonville when you have Blake, Michael Vick, Bortles? See you see him running around out there? Uh Vince asks you, do you think Manning will stay in New York? What's his contract situation? Probably. I mean I think he has he has at least a few more years in New York, right? I would think that they will that they will keep him reluctantly. I think they want to improve other areas first. I think they want to try to try to not have to address that quarterback situation yet. You know, I think they're like, hey, let's let's get our wide receivers healthy. I think that's a big thing. Hey, let's get. Uh, Let's get some decent running backs. You know what I mean? We can have a, have a running game. Let's improve that offensive line. You know, let's let's shore up that defense. Eli Apple has been has been a, a waste of space for them. You know, I think they'll uh, I think they'll want to have that sort of veteran quarterback to to shepherd in a a a, a new look uh, Giants team. I guess <laughs> start managing games. Maybe maybe not have to throw like forty times a game. I think that's what they're hoping. Oh, is that right, Seal Curtain? I, I almost missed that. You said the limited football, when that comes out, apparently there's a checklist that says that there's a triple auto, oh, a triple on-card auto of TJ, JJ, and Derek Watt. Oh, man, Wisconsin fans will go nuts for that. Um... Yeah, I, I I don't know why why Derek had to be Derek had to be like I don't I don't want to use I'll bet his middle name is like John, too or James. He could have gone DJ, but I think he just didn't want to. All right, next. Oh, Josh York, what's going on? Congrats to your Saints. They held on. Speaking of Saints, Trey Edmonds, playoff ticket autograph. 10 out of 99. That goes to Justin S. And the Go Saints. Who dat nation. Is it really Adam Kupperman? His middle name, Derek Watt's middle name is John. So he just he's just like, I want to be different. I'm going to be on the offensive side of the ball. And I'm not going to go by DJ. Out of 199, Marlon Mack, Rookie of the Year contenders. Oh, you're talking about Alabama. They hung on, didn't they? Yeah, that, that, that team's pretty good. Nick Saban, pretty good. There's Travis Kelsey. Out of 249, poor Travis Kelsey. Another big concussion that knocked him out of that playoff game. I ha I have to admit I had Georgia. I had under on the game and Georgia plus the points. I got the points. Did not get the under. I also had Georgia like plus 200 something on the money line and I thought they were going to do it. <laughs> they did not. J another Joe Mixon rookie ticket autograph. Uh, that not an autograph though, TJ. 
Just a regular Rookie of the Year contenders insert, Marlon Mack. Rookie ticket autograph, another Joe Mixon for the Bengals, Brian Berry and the Bengals. I forgot about these guys. That last touchdown by, by Alabama, that freshman quarterback, true freshman quarterback, was stunning. Like, I was... I don't think I expected that to happen so quickly. I think I almost looked away at some point. I was in the middle of doing something, and I was just like... All of a sudden, I saw, I saw the play open up, a receiver streaking down here, the safety being looked off, stays over there, the ball travels all the way over there. I was just like... And then boom, he, I was like, I blinked. I was like, he caught it? He caught it. Ruhi Moster, rookie ticket autograph for the Niners. I was also, you know what I actually like, folks, on the, uh, on the college football national championship game broadcast? If you go to like ESPN2 or like ESPN Classic or something like that, you can see different angles of the game. You can see one where two fans are just kind of talking about the game, watching the game on field. And there's also... This is the one. The one I was watching. The feed that I was watching was the coaches' one. Did anyone watch that? I watched almost the entire game, just listening to the six uh, college coaches that were sitting around um, and watching the game. They're just like eating pizza and and, wa and watching the game. And the, you know, you got got to see like coaches' video and see them break down plays and stuff like that. I think that's why the, that touchdown was kind of surprising. Because I wasn't watching the regular telecast. Solomon Thomas is coming up. There he is. That goes to James S. We got Cole for the Niners. Picutini goes to James S. But yeah, I, I, I really like that coach's angle for that game. It, it's pretty interesting. Not that I have anything against Kirk Herbstreit or anything like that, but. All right, next up. So this will bring us to about halfway through this break. We've got another solid 30 minutes or so to go. And then after this will be, uh, will be a baseball break. We haven't done baseball in a while. So we'll have some super jumbo. Con I see a ton of orders coming in here too, so thanks everybody. I'm not sure, I'm sure the other, other breaks are filling out right now. Uh, so thanks, everyone. We'll go through those orders after this break. We'll get the Super Jumbo started soon afterwards. It's a quick one-box break. And a chance to get Transcendent Baseball spots, ladies and gentlemen. The Transcendent Baseball is almost full. That will break tomorrow. I think we told everybody we'll break it on Wednesday, and we will. We want to make sure that everyone can watch. For a break like that, we want to make sure everyone can watch. And I think Bossman's going to try to get some of his old Tops buddies to, to check out the break as well and watch live and see what amazingness we pull. So stay tuned for that tomorrow. And let's sell it out. Let's sell it out tonight. That's what I say. I say let's sell it out tonight so we can hit the ground running with that tomorrow. That'll be a nice way to start the day. All right, five autographs per box, folks. We've got six boxes left, so plenty of autographs to go. Plenty of big hits still yet to remain in here. Sometimes these contenders breaks are a bit of a battle of, of attrition, I guess. You kind of have to wade through uh, a lot of cards to find the gems in here. So good luck, everybody. All right.
Is that our first Mitch Trubisky? We have not seen many of these. Rookie of the Year contenders, 1 out of 25, the first one ever made. And we have it. On card auto, Mitchell Trubisky for the Bears. Michael D with the Bears. Nice, that is strong. They like this guy out there in Chicago. Apparently the team, his teammates are responding to his leadership. Maybe a new new coach, new head coach. Maybe a little extra experience under his belt. You know, give him some time. He might he might be the future. Hobby wise you want him to be the future. Michael D wants him to be the future. Hold on to this card. This might skyrocket in value if he turns out to be like it's a Jared Goff type second season. Marvin Jones Jr., 57 out of 249. That'll be for the Lions, of course. Alex Carmichael. Uh, I'm not sure, 404. Read the item description on jazbeeshobbyland.com. That'll have all the details. I honestly don't remember what it said. I don't think so, though. But the best way to find out, just go to the website, man. Desmond King for the Chargers. Rookie ticket autograph for the Chargers. That'll be for Cruz. And we've got some tacos. We want tacos. There's Taco Charlton. Rookie ticket autograph for the boys. That'll go to James S. and the Cowboys. MVP contenders, Philip Rivers out of 299. For the Chargers Cruise with that insert. And we've got one for the Panthers. Rookie ticket autograph. Ben Boulware. Rookie linebacker for the Panthers. That goes to Jason McGee. We've got a bill, Matt Milano, rookie ticket autograph, Matt Milano. Bill's autograph, if I could get this into the top loader, there we go. Bill's autograph going to Karen. Karen Steele with the bills. Bill's hoping to rebuild off this solid season they had. All right, halfway there, six boxes to go. Brent saying Bears got the offensive coordination from the Chiefs as their head coach. I thought the Chiefs' offense has been terrible. Well, it's, I guess it depends on whether that whether the Bears' head coach, new head coach, is going to actually call the plays or not. Some coaches let their let their coordinators do the magic. Oh right, I think I forgot about that, TJ. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll, I'll uh, exchange that information with you a little bit later. I think the Chiefs' offense has been okay. It might be might be a quarterback issue. There might be a personnel issue. But we'll see. Head coaches oftentimes. Or more administrators than actually, I don't know, it depends on how involved he wants to be. Some coaches you want a good administrator, you know what I mean? Some of the greatest coaches are good administrators, getting the right coordinators, good drafters. Some are actually more just tactically better. You know, there's a lot of different ways to go about it. 
not a lot of I mean it's not a lot of coaches out there to get though. You kind of have to take a shot at young coaches or coordinators or something like that. That's why I was, for the Raiders I was like, listen, if a lot of buzz about Jack Del Rio possibly being moved on. But I was like, what's the point of moving him on if you're just going to get some random coordinator and kind of start from scratch again, you know? And there's not too many like coaches with with experience under their belts who want to go to Oakland for like two years and then go to Vegas for the rest of their career. You know what I mean? Except for except for John Gruden. So, oh, is that right? Yeah. That's smart. Vegas has no Boss man mentioning in the background that that uh, that the deal apparently is backloaded, so so uh, or at least by a few years or so, so he can he could get most of his income in Vegas, where Nevada has no state income tax. Well, that helps. We'll randomize those off a little bit later at the end of the break. Austin Eckler. Rookie ticket auto for the Chargers. Uh, Urban, I wouldn't worry just yet. We still have half the case to go. We've got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 autographs to go. I'd get worried when we get to right around here. That's when you can get worried. Playoff ticket out of 249, Stefan Diggs. We'll see him in action. There you go, Rich. And there's Kenny G. 74 out of 199. That sexy hit going to Alex Carmichael and the Lions. There you go. And it looks like some Vikings. Ink, ink. Rookie of the Year contenders, Dalvin Cook, 21 out of 25. Wow. This has been a pretty nice case. We got the Leonard Fournette. We got the Mitch Trubisky. We got the Dalvin Cook. Kenny G, among others. We got a lot of other solid ones, too. But the bigger names popping out of here. And we got Marshawn Lattimore. Rookie ticket autograph for the Saints. That'll be for Justin S. Your possible uh, defensive rookie of the year. Nice, this has been a pretty solid box. And our last autograph, Malachi Dupree, Bills edition. Rookie ticket autograph for Karen and the Bills. Brent saying, as a Lions fan, hoping for Mike Vabral or Matt Patricia, or Patricia from the Patriots as their next head coach. What's wrong with a... Uh, you don't like offensive coordinator Jim Bob Cooter? Just the name alone. Just the name alone should get him a job. All right, next box. Good luck, folks.
Donald saying, hey, I wouldn't trust Patriots assistant coaches. Seems like they don't work out as head coaches. All right, yeah. I mean, one of the big examples was uh, was uh, Charlie Weiss, I think was his name, right? And, uh, and Josh McDaniels. Although McDaniels came back and uh, was solid, you know, great offensive coordinator again. But we'll see how. But it looks like he's going to go back out to be a head coach again. Perhaps I don't know. Having that having that head coaching experience, I think, kind of has to has to teach someone a lot, right? Especially if they if it doesn't work out the first time. If he just didn't have it, you know, as a head coach. I don't think he'd be rumored to be a head coach again. So we'll see what happens with Josh McDaniels second time around. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. Next box. And we got a Curtis Samuel. We've been seeing a lot of these Rookie of the Year contenders autographs. 70 out of 99. Curtis Samuel on card auto. Going to the Panthers. And it'll be for Jason McGee. DZ, is there going to be a pick your team contenders after this one? If it fills, we'll do one. Next one's already up on jazbeeshobbyland.com. So if it fills, we'll do another one tonight. NFL Inc. Aaron Donald. Nice. 85 out of 99. Nice Aaron Donald. For the Rams. That's for Derek Slavic. Nice. He had a he had a good looking game, but just wasn't wasn't quite enough against the Falcons. There is championship ticket insert for the Packers, forty four out of ninety nine. Aaron Rodgers, Tom Ewald with the Rodgers. Should be back healthy. Carlos Henderson out of 199. For the Broncos, that'll be for Aaron Murray. And CJ Beathard. Two out of 99. Rookie Roundup autograph. Niners, James S. Cracked Ice, rookie ticket autograph, 2 out of 25. Dietrich Wise Jr. for Karen and the Patriots. Donald H. psyched for Gruden, as am I. Hence the Raiders hat today. And, and I need to get a haircut. But yeah, I'm excited too. Looked good at the press conference. Looked like he was, uh, he's really into it. He really wanted to be back. You know, and if there was an organization where he would come back, it would be the Raiders. Said all the right things. There's Kyle Slaughter for the Vikings. That'll be for Rich. So I'm pretty excited. You know, I think everyone's like, oh, a lot of questions at the press conference about, hey, uh, have you been away? Essentially saying, have you been away from the game too long? You know, I think that's what that was everyone's question. But I think he fielded those questions fine. He's like, hey watching football a lot you know it's not like he just kind of checked out no he's he's been very involved 
He knows how the league's been changing. He knows what direction it's been kind of going. Rookie ticket autograph, Alex Anzalone. For the Saints, that'll be for Justin. Sounds like Del Rio kind of lost the confidence of the players and wasn't holding itself. I, I think so. I don't think it's as bad as, as it, as it's made out to be, though. I think I think he would have been fine, you know, next year. But that being said, if uh, if you put in a phone call to Gruden and he and John Gruden says, "Yeah, I'm thinking about it," you know, yeah, I, I could come back. You know, if he gives that, if he gives you enough of that hint that he's ready to come back, you got to get that done. If you're the Raiders, you know. If the story came out that that John Gruden was available and the Raiders didn't take advantage of that, a lot of people, and especially fans, will be like, "What the f?" But yeah, I mean, I think you think it might have been time for a change. But I'm glad, uh, listen, I mean, respect to ja uh, Jack Del Rio, though, because he, he took a team that was that was not good. And, you know, and he's, he's, from, he's from the Oakland area, too. You know, he grew up a Raiders fan. So I think he really kind of set the tone and set a good foundation for the Raiders. You know, I think he kind of brought a little bit of swagger back to the team, brought, brought a little bit of, uh, of discipline and confidence back into the team. So I think he was certainly the right person to 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 set that foundation for the Raiders' sort of future for the turnaround, especially as the Raiders make their way to Vegas. And I think for Gruden to 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 now continue what Jack Del Rio has kind of reestablished, rebuilt. You know, Gruden doesn't have to start from scratch. You know, the Raiders have individuals. That's what that's what I like. They've got individual players. Now they just need to come together as a team. They've they've got Amari Cooper, you know. They've got uh, they've got Derek Carr. They've got individual running backs that John Gruden could use. He's he's uses running backs uh, with a lot of versatility. He likes to use them. He's got a lot of strong individuals on defense. That just needs to all just kind of come together. And I'm looking forward to it. I don't think this makes the Raiders a like Super Bowl team, like immediately. But I think a couple years of John Gruden, a couple seasons of John Gruden, a couple drafts, a couple free agent cycles. You know, a little more experience for the younger players under their belts. And then I think we're going to start to see just the true fruits of John Gruden's labor. Uh, Jamal Adams. That goes to the Jets. That'll be for Adam Kupperman and the Jets. And Doug Baldwin. Oh, I thought it was gonna be an autograph. Playoff ticket at a two forty nine. I seem to grab the stack of cards right where the autograph is. And guess what, folks? It's our first Mac rookie roundup autograph, 94 out of 199, Mac Hollins for the Fly Eagles Fly, Sam Roll. Yeah, sorry, Cruz. That, psyched me, that Doug Baldwin psyched me out, too. There you go, Mac Hollins. Another set of ooh, 600 points. That's a lot. Uh, the other case of transcend is sold. Gone, Greg. So the one on the site is the only one we have left.
And whoever purchased spots in that brig um, has either been refunded or shifted o over into the uh, to the 171 spot brig. Chad Kelly autograph for the Broncos. I don't think there are that many people in that. Chad Kelly for the Broncos. That goes to Aaron Murray. There's legendary contenders. Calvin Johnson. So yeah, so the last case of Transcend that's on our site uh, will break tomorrow. It might even fill up by late tonight. But it will be, uh, it will go off tomorrow. We want to time it kind of, for, for a case like that, usually everyone knows first to fill, first to break. But with a case like that, I think we want to time it a little bit better so we can kind of get, um, make sort of an event out of it, make as many people as possible be able to watch it. Make sure the uh, the tops folks on the East Coast are able to watch it with us at a decent time. They like to watch those breaks too. A lot of the guys actually watch a lot of our breaks. Panini, Upper Deck, Tops. They see everything that you write, folks. Robert Kelly, veteran ticket autograph. That's for crew. That goes along nicely with your uh, Kirk Cousins. That's it for that box. Three boxes to go. Oh, yeah, the points cards. So it's winner take all on the points now. All right, 15 autographs to go, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. If you're wondering, our Mac count still under. I think a lot of us have taken the over. Again, TJ, we might have to readjust that line. May, for the next contender, we may have to bring that down to two and a half. I uh, have not seen a Steeler yet. Usually, usually you're good for a, a James Conner redemption, right? You would think. 15 autographs left, though. Play to the whistle, folks. Uh, uh, one of the losing playoff, wildcard playoff teams that we have not talked about yet, uh, Carolina Panthers. So where, where, where do the Carolina, so we're just kind of talking about where they go from here. All the, 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 the teams knocked out of the playoffs. Where do they go from here? Where do the Panthers go from here? I think, maybe, maybe I think a wide, wide receiver might be a big, might be a big uh, thing for them next year. Stays healthy. That's a big thing too. Stay healthy, Cam Newton. There you go. Uh, right 404. Well, you can't you can't say that you won't get it. You don't know that. Uh, well, that's the whole point of this product, Josh York. They're contenders, you know. That's that's kind of the whole whole uh, whole deal with this product. There's Mike Williams. Although he's a first rounder, so and because the moms and dads of seventh round offensive linemen also want to see their son's football cards. But yeah, this but the whole point of this is it's contenders, you know what I mean? It's it's supposed to have uh, there's a little more underdogs in there. And the idea is, hey, maybe you get Brad Kaya, right? Carolina Panthers, maybe he turns out to be something, you know? Well, it's not Believe it or not, the, the card companies don't really care about resale value of these cards. They're just producing a product. They're not catering to the resale market. It's 
for the love of the hobby, man. There's LeGarrette Blunt, 177 out of 249. MVP contenders, 162 out of 199. Also, I'm pretty sure that there's like, <laughs> with the licensing deal with the Players Association, I think there's like certain requirements there too. I'm sure the Players Association is like, yeah, you gotta include these guys too at some point. MVP contenders, the famous. Eating W's right there, Buccaneers for Barry. An Amara Darbo on card autograph, rookie ticket auto for Cruz and his Seahawks. Uh, yes, Mary Lou, there are baseball breaks tonight. In fact, there'll be one happening right after this break. There's Josh Woodrum. 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 Joe Cavanaugh with the Baltimore Ravens. Bird team. Mojo. Chris Wormley. Back to back Ravens for Joe Cavanaugh. Purple Birds making an appearance. We've got Akello Witherspoon. Uh, no relation to Reese, I think. That goes to James with the Niners. All right, last two boxes. Good luck, folks. Ten autographs left, plus inserts. Autographs, <laughs> autographs cost money. So, so like you, you can't have Tom Brady in every contenders box, Joshua. They still, they will save those for for flawless. But they're building products to to build products for consumers. They're not necessarily super concerned about oh, let's make sure, you know, to some extent they are, but that's not their entire driving force. I don't know. These are questions for the card companies, Josh. You should, you should go ask Panini. I don't know. <laughs> but what I do know is that uh, Contenders is what it is. You know, like there's five autographs a box. That's how it's always been. And you're supposed to get like some random players. And you sift through the random players to get some of the nicer players. There'll be some autographs for a lot of personal uh, people who personally collect. Their teams are like, yeah, I do want that, that random Raiders offensive lineman to add to my Raiders collection. It's a friendly price point to get into, and people enjoy it. It sells well, uh, for us anyway, uh, year to year. And the cha there's enough of a chase in this product where, uh, where it's worth it for people to get into. All right. John Ross for the Bengals. Rookie ticket cracked ice autograph. Four out of 25. And 
And that goes to Barry and the Bengals. Here's the beauty of the hobby, folks. Uh, if you don't like contenders, you could do another football break. We've got plenty of others on jazbeeshobbyland.com. There's something for everybody. You want a lot of base cards and a lot of different autographs. You got contenders. You got optic. Ah, there's David Johnson. How about that, Arthur? Veteran ticket autograph. Arthur. This last Arthur hanging his head. This last spot mojo is never good to me. How about a cardinal? Woe is me. Joe never pulls me anything. This is why you play to the whistle, folks. Yeah, I'll take it, says Arthur. Of course you will. It's David Johnson. That's a nice veteran. T this has been a great case so far, actually. Above average on this. All right, see you, boss man. An above average case. Out of 99, Kirk Cousins. It's complaining mojo, says Arthur. Yes, sir. Hey, if it works, it works. Work this time. We got Des Bryant for the Cowboys. Cracked ice, Des Bryant. Six out of 25. No ink, but nice cracked ice. That always looks nice, James. Oh, that goes to Cruz, by the way, that card. Goes along with his Kirk Cousins autograph from earlier. There's running back Blake Bortles. That's what he was doing. This is what he was doing. Contenders predicted it. They were just like, we know that Blake Bortles is a contender for being a running back more than a quarterback. There's Matt Milano, rookie ticket autograph for the Bills. That goes to Karen Steele. More points. This points pile turning out to be pretty nice. It's a winner take all of those points. Then we've got Elijah McGuire for the Jets, Jets, Jets champ ticket autographed. 34 out of 49. Adam Kupperman and his Jets. The last bit here, and then the last box, folks. All right. Cross your fingers. Get your lucky rabbit's foot out. Go to the garden. Find that four-leaf clover. We are now in the last box, last box zone. There's running, black, uh, running back, Blake Bortles. There he is. Do, doing what Blake Bortles does best. This is what that's what Blake Bortles is known for, ladies and gentlemen. That's good running back right here. Look at that. That's good good running back form. I like it. Not quarterback, running back is what they meant. It's a misprint there. William Hummel looking for some Steelers, specifically a Juju Smith-Schuster one of one. That'd be nice. Have we pulled one of those? Have we pulled any one of ones out of here? I think plates. We pulled plates, which we also haven't seen in this case. Um, we haven't seen a plate in a little bit. Uh, like a, a Super Bowl ticket, I think is what it is. Urban Legend saying, need in the nuts mojo. That's what he did. This is part of the game, Urban. They're not they're not winners all the time. There, there are definitely cycles, highs and lows in this. But hey, still have five autographs to go. You never know what's going to happen. All it takes is one. Big boys, 007, what's going on? Royal for speed in the house. Ryan, how are you? 
Just about done with this break. We've got a few randomizers after this. And then we'll be uh, moving on to the next break, which will be Bowman Draft Super Jumbo. And I see a ton of orders coming in too, so i got to go through that too. So might be a little bit of time before we start the next break. But stick with us, folks. we got all night. All right. There's Jalen Ramsey. Let's see how he does this weekend. And then we've got Carlos Watkins. Carlos Watkins, a little consolation for Chris Masoner. Goes along with that Deonta Foreman from earlier. There's running back Blake Bortles. For the Saints, uh, Taysom Hill. Saints edition, he was traded right here. Saints edition going to Justin. We've got something for the Patriots. Ah, Derek rolling on a rivers. That goes to Karen and the Patriots. Rolling, rolling, rolling on a river. That points pile looking nice. And Alan Hearns playoff ticket. Insert out of 249 for the Jags, Sam Golden and the Jaguars. Mara Darbo for Cruz, rookie ticket autograph. And the last little bit here, ladies and gentlemen, good luck, is Jehu Chesson. Championship ticket autograph, 8 out of 25. Nice low number for Urban Legend. That's Chris and the Chiefs. Not the Kareem Hunt he was looking for, but I believe this is an autograph that I don't think we've seen a lot of. That's a nice low number, too. 8 out of 25. There you go. A little something for you and the Chiefs at the very end. So there you go, Chris. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That's that. Cole saying, at least I didn't get skunked. That's the whole name of the game. You want to get at least something. All right, folks. Yeah, we might need to lower this line. It's been, it's been under a lot. Our Mac count has been under a lot. Okay, so we've got some randomizers to do. We'll do a left-right randomizer for this. Will we have the, uh, they're both out of 199? All right, so they're out of 199. We'll do round four first. Then we'll do round one. Then we'll do all the points. Good luck. Let's go to random.org, pull out one, one, two, three, four lists. So let's go to that random.org screen left right for the left right cards then for the numbered cards out of 199 we got Ryan Switzer for the Cowboys uh, Jehu Chesson for the Chiefs the next one was Jabril Peppers Browns and TJ Watt Steelers still a chance at an insert William that'd be a little consolation uh, we got Arthur down to Cruz Arthur with a David Johnson autograph veteran ticket auto that was nice 
That's for the points. Winner take all of the points. A lot of points, too. One 600, two 250s, and a 150. It's pretty nice. Let's roll the dice for all the lists. Three simple times, one and a two, left and right. One, two, and three. Stays with the right side. So all the right side cards will get these. Cowboys Chiefs, one and a two, three times one, two, and three. Cowboys. So that out of 199 will go to James and the boys. Next one, Jabril Peppers, TJ Watt, three times. One, two, and three. Stays with the Browns after three times. So that's 121 out of 199. Round one. Everyone has a chance at all the points. Winner take all. Once again, one and a two, three times. One, two, and three. There you go, Tom Ewald. All those points going to you. Congrats. Thanks very much, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. That was a full case break of Contenders Football. There's another one in the store on jazbeeshobbyland.com. We're running out of cases. So get them while supplies last. Thanks, Ed. Uh, thank you. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.